Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how you can create your account with AWS. So before we start working with AWS, we will have to basically sign up or we will have to create an account with uh, AWS so that we can start accessing the services. We can start creating the infrastructure using this AWS account. Now, before we start off with this session, uh, in the last session, we have looked at some of the benefits that your AWS provides. So we have your security, the availability, the performance, scalability, flexibility, and your global footprint. So these are some of the very important benefits that we have when we talk about your AWS. Now in this session, we will basically go through your uh, steps that are involved to create your uh, AWS account. Once again, uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. So before we start working with AWS, like I said, you will need to sign up or you'll have to create an account with AWS. So to create the uh, AWS account, you can use this uh, below link. I'll be sharing this link in the description uh, section so you can use this link. When you hit, when you click on this link, it will take you to this page basically. So it's a very straightforward steps that we have to sign up with the AWS console. So first we need to have a, a email account. So in my case, I'm going to use this uh, Gmail to sign up to the uh, AWS console. So here I'll give my uh, email address so this is going to be my email address that i have associated with this account and then you can give a username so whatever username you want to use for this aws account you can provide that then click on verify email address now what this will do is this will send out a verification code whatever the mailbox you are using it will send out a verification code so in my case here this is the verification code i'll take this verification code and i will provide that over here and then click on verify so this would basically uh, validate or verify the email account that we are using post that we are going to set up the password so you'll be using this email as your username and whatever the password you're going to set here that will be your password which you can use to log in to the aws console so let me quickly uh, set a password for this and then i'll confirm the same password and then click on Continue. So this will take you to the next step. Now, uh, I don't want to save the password. Now, next, it will ask you to uh, specify what is the purpose of this AWS. So you are using it for business purpose or for your personal case. So in our case, it's going to be personal. At an organization level, this will be generally a business. So you'll be using it for some work purpose or some organization purpose. Then we start filling in the details. You can give a name to this, whatever name you want to provide, you can provide. And then your phone number. So in my case, I'm staying in India and I'll provide my phone number. And then my country would be this. And then you can fill in your details again. You can fill in whatever uh, details you want. I'm just going to quickly fill this. And then agree to the terms and conditions. So this is this will basically be your contact information. You can give whatever information that you prefer and then go to the next step. Now to create your AWS account, you will need to have a credit card or a debit card. So basically uh, two rupees will be deducted from the uh, account the credit or debit card that you're specifying this is if you're on from india location and if you're some other location then either one dollar will be deducted from your account now this amount will be refunded back to you this is only for the account verification purpose so you can go ahead and fill in these details so make sure your card is either visa or mastercard or uh, mx others is not supported so I'll quickly fill in my details over here. So I'll give the expiration. Um, Okay, that's a little weird. I don't know why that is happening. I'll give the cardholder's name. Um, I'll give my CVV. 
and then for the billing address you want to use the current information you have given or you want to use a new address and then do you have a pan so in my case i'm going with no and then click on verify and continue and like i said you know this will uh, deduct two rupees from your account I will authorize this uh, transaction and that should basically deduct two rupees from my card whatever the card details I've entered and again like I said this is only for the account verification purpose uh, whatever the amount that is deducted will be refunded back to your account once that is validated it will go to the next step which is to confirm your identity so you can either use a text message for the identification purpose or a voice call so in our case we are going with the text message and you can give the country or region so i'll give my i'm going with the uh, text message i'll give my phone number for the uh, text message verification and we will enter the security code over here and click on send sms and this will send out an sms to whatever the phone number you have provided and you should be enter the verification code in this particular step so i'll enter the verification code and click on continue and this should take you to the last step which is to confirm your identity so what is the purpose of this so this is for personal use ownership would be individual and then continue and this will be the last step which is to select your support plan now with your aws there are different different plans that are available you have the basic plan which is what we are going to use you have the developer support you have the business support and then you have the enterprise level support as well all of this gives you different different features different different uh, pricing so in our case we are going with the uh, basic support which is free so basically this is a free tier account and then click on complete sign up and this should complete the sign up and our account should be created so now you can go to this uh, aws management console which will basically log in to the aws account and we can start using that to work with aws so here i'll just click on sign into the console and whatever the credentials you have you can give that or this will automatically sign into the console for us so in my case this is going to the sign in page where I can give the email address uh, that I have used and the password I have set. So here we will be going with the root user account. So you know if it if you if you see this page, make sure you click on this sign in using root user email. And root user will talk more on this later on. So this is like a admin user, like the owner of the account. So I'll give the email address over here, whatever the email address that is associated with this account and we'll give the password i have set for this and this should sign in to the aws console right now uh, the account is not fully activated this will take few hours to uh, activate and once the account is activated you should also receive an email telling that your account is ready to use for now the account has been created and this is basically the home page or the console the aws management console and this is what it looks like when you log in to the console all right now in the upcoming sessions we will be talking more about this console i'll show you a walkthrough of all the what all the various options that are available but this is how we can create your console all right so whatever the account we have created now this we call it as your free tire account and this account is valid for 12 months from the date of creation so starting from today for the next 12 months this account will fall under the free tire now when i say free tire not everything is free there is a limitation that is set on this particular account so as long as you're within that limitation you won't get charged and if you go outside that limitation you will be charged and you will have to pay money so as we start working with the aws services i'll be telling you what is free what is not free what is the limitation uh, so as long as you're within that limitation you don't have to worry about the pricing you don't have to worry about the invoicing aws will not charge you anything but uh, if you are outside that limitation, you will be charged, AWS will be charging for that. So after 12 months, the free usage will be removed and uh, you will start getting charged for anything 
that you will do on this AWS account. So the account would still be there and whatever you will do after the 12 months, even if you launch an instance, right, you will get charged for that instance. Under the free tier, there is a usage limitation. And as long as you're within that usage limitation, you don't have to pay any money. But after the 12 months, whatever you will do, you'll get charged for that. So this is how you can create your account. You can sign up with the AWS. And this is very important because without this, you won't be able to work with AWS. You won't be able to create any resources on the AWS platform. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.